I just wanted to make this video. It's a quick update on the exploding Bradford White. So I made a video about a Bradford White that was like backfiring. First of all, it explodes. This huge boom. And then it does this thing where it's like a pulse jet and all this, uh, all this fuel starts burning because it's sprayed in here, which I hate. I don't, I'm not a big fan of these burner assemblies. But basically it takes the fuel, the natural gas, and sprays it down this tube, right? And so the fuel travels, whoops, travels down this tube, and then it enters this, uh, I don't know, the burner assembly here, and it drifts up, and it hovers on this uh, mesh, and then it catches the pilot light right here. But you know what this one has, and I knew it? It's got a hole in it. You see that hole right there? So there's a hole in it, and sometimes they they get, you know, water condensation will drip down on these things over time. It starts to chew away. You can see some of the water marks. And it starts to chew away, or somebody pulled the burner assembly out of here and ripped it. But because the mesh has a hole in it, and that's what it does, it causes this crazy situation where the gas leaks out, and then it builds up in the bottom of the combustion chamber down here, and then it ignites and it explodes and then it causes some of that explosive flame to creep back closer to the gas that's being sprayed in this tube and then you can literally see these flames and it just scares the hell out of everybody i gotta admit last night when i lit it a couple of times to film the video i was a little bit nervous i didn't want to let it run very long coming out of there with so much pressure that the flame probably couldn't couldn't go back in there and travel into the valve and re really cause a huge explosion but that's it. That's what causes this is the hole in the screen. And then it's uh, it's pretty scary. But fortunately, I've got some backup burner assemblies. So I'm just going to do a direct swap on this water heater. I will show you what that looks like. This thing's got probably it's probably um, maybe a third full. The water heater is a third full of water because you can't really run them when they're dry. You can crack the bottom of the or the top of the combustion chamber, which is the bottom of the uh, the actual you know, the vessel that's holding all that water. So I got to put some water in here to keep it cool because I got to run it for like 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that, um, which I don't like to do when it's empty. Obviously, that would be bad. So put some water in there. So I'll show you and uh, hopefully we can uh, get rid of this uh, exploding um, dangerous burner assembly. Okay, this is the replacement burner assembly. You can see that the screen is in really good shape. Uh, it doesn't look that great on my phone, that's for sure. But in person, it looks super clean and is in good shape. The burner assembly is the exact same size, 18 inch, 18 inch. There's our, uh, our exploding one there. There's the replacement. So I saved this from a water heater that had a leak in it or I just tore it out when I was out uh, rummaging for water heaters because I like to keep these things because really I like the thermo piles. I like reusing them. But yeah, I keep these burner assemblies just in case somebody calls me for a service call and then I have something. So I'm going to test this one out and I bet you anything this works good. And if the thermal pile is bad in this one, I'll just take it off of this one. All right, but first I'm going to clean out this combustion chamber using compressed air. I can't see down that low. Usually I work on these water heaters when they're laying on their back. But because it's got water in it, oh, it doesn't look too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and dump a ton of compressed air in there and clean out everything. That's the, uh, that's the flame arrestor right here. These Bradford Whites have a huge flame arrestor. It's the entire size of the bottom of the combustion chamber. It's gigantic. And then it draws in all this fresh air. It does it through the vents, pulls it in underneath, draws it in there. Because it's there for a reason, we'll leave it in. So yeah, I'm gonna get busy. I just gotta tell you guys, there is pretty much no water here that you cannot fix with compressed air and a bench grinder with a wire wheel on it. Okay, so new burner assembly is in pumping away status light normal operation there's no rip in the screen so i'm gonna let this thing go 15 20 minutes half an hour something like that 
If it explodes like it did before, I would be shocked. It's gotta be that rip right there in the screen. Bradford White, at this point, fixed. All right, she's still going, been burning for about 15 minutes. Before when it exploded, it would happen about a minute and a half in, two minutes in, so that's what the problem was, for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching.